Stop what you're doing right now and watch the tech news. Seriously, your parole officer can wait. Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. I'm out of here. A new competitor to the Steam Deck is on the horizon, this time from Logitech. They've partnered with Tencent Games out of China to release a gaming handheld based on cloud services rather than local hardware. The plan is for it to support GeForce Now and Xbox Cloud Gaming, among others, so rather than stuff a powerful GPU inside this thing, there will instead be hardware horsepower on the back end. The idea is to, just like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new guy here. The idea is to allow gamers to access most of their existing game library on the go by supporting both of these cloud services, but we don't yet have many other details, even though the plan is apparently to launch the device later this year. Hopefully it won't just be a glorified gaming phone, though, you know? Can it play Bejewel? <laughs> I'm in. EA is staying single. There's been quite a bit of speculation as to whether Electronic Arts would end up getting bought out by a larger tech firm, especially as Microsoft is about to wrap up its deal to acquire Activision Blizzard. What are they gonna call that one? Mac Blizzard. <laughs> Mac Blizzard. Rumors have been flying that EA might become part of Comcast or Apple or Amazon or even Disney, but EA CEO Andrew Wilson has come out and said that EA has no plans and had no plans to sell at the moment, and it feels good in its current position as its own person, I mean company. Although EA has not put out a ton of bangers this year, their most recent quarterly revenue still increased year over year. Of course, this does not mean that EA absolutely won't be sold in the near future, but it does suggest that EA will be able to ask for lots of money if it does happen. Let's take it to Kickstarter, baby. <laughs> Go fund me. The James Webb Telescope, no relation, has given us another stunning photo. This time, it's of the Cartwheel Galaxy, which was named that way because it looks like a cartwheel. It's about 500 million light years away from Earth, meaning that we're looking a half billion years back in time by looking at this photo. As is the case with photos of many other faraway celestial objects, the image is a composite of infrared and visible light. As for the subject of the photo, the galaxy got its remarkable shape when an average mediocre basic spiral galaxy collided with another galaxy, resulting in an outer ring that's a hot area for star formation. Hopefully we'll get more images soon, since I'm kind of over Saturn looking like a smudge through my backyard telescope. I prefer looking at Uranus. <laughs> now it's time for the quick bits, brought to you my, uh, I mean Manscaped, manscaped.com. The new Manscaped Ultra Premium Collection is an all-in-one skin and hair care kit designed to keep the everyday man covered from head to toe. Treat your butt, your bowels, and your body to something nice with their shampoo, body wash, spray, and deodorant. Man maintenance made simple with Manscaped. And all Manscaped products in the Ultra Premium Collection are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan. Go to manscaped.com and use promo code TECH for 20% off your order, plus free international shipping? How do they do it? On to the quick bits. We're still waiting for Intel's Arc GPUs to hit shelves here in North America, but a water block for the entry-level A380 has already been announced. The block is from Bixky, and the only official compatibility is with the card uh, from Gunner, available in China. I don't know why you'd cool a 92-watt card with a water block, but hey, I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money. You can't stop me. If you're the type of person that prefers listening from your own music library rather than streaming, you'll probably be interested to know that a new version of Winamp has been released. Yes, that Winamp. Complete with the llamas and everything, the new version improves compatibility with Windows 11 and enhances support for a boatload of file types. The devs say it's the result of over four years of work. So check it out if you've got a lot of flack files to jam out to. I don't. Nintendo is feeling the crunch of the chip shortage, resulting in the company selling over a million fewer consoles this quarter than it did during the same period last year. However, sales of Nintendo first party titles actually got better, so don't feel too bad for them, especially as the new versions of Pokemon are just around the corner. Gotta buy them all. You got to buy it. Be careful if you're taking Uber trips on the company dime. If you're opening up Uber receipts in Microsoft Outlook, a formatting problem will freeze the entire program, which also happens to affect Word. A fix is on the way, but it may not arrive until the 9th of this month. So I hope you don't have an expense report deadline to meet or else. What's someone think of the accountants? The scientists at Yale have found a way to revive pig cells from dead organs. They did this by mixing pig blood with artificial hemoglobin as well as various medications and nutrients. The idea is 
one day to find a way to help human patients facing life-threatening diseases afflicting internal organs. But no word yet on if smelling like bacon would be a possible side effect. Mmm, pig cells. Mm. That's our show. Come back on Friday for more tech news with a side of sausage links. That makes me think of sausagey golf. <laughs>